सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इंजीनियरिंग डायरेक्टरेट ऑफ रिसर्च ऑन वुमन इन एग्रीकल्चर ऑल इंडिया कोऑर्डिनेट रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट ऑन एर्गोनॉमिक्स एंड सेफ्टी इन एग्रीकल्चर ऑल इंडिया कोऑर्डिनेट रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट ऑन होम साइंस हैव डेवलप्ड ए नंबर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजीज विच आर वेरी मच सुटेबल टू वोमेन वर्कर्स वी वॉन्ट टू टेक दीज वोमन फ्रेंडली टेक्नोलॉजीज इक्विपमेंट टूल्स टू वोमेन वर्कर्स वर्क इन द विलेजेज सो दैट देयर ड्रजरी could be reduced and income is enhanced drudgery reduction is the major thrust area of central institute for women in agriculture uh, vigyan prasar as an autonomous institution of the department of science and technology is honored to work very closely with the indian council for agricultural research and its institutions uh, dr geete of the central institute for agricultural engineering has been remarkable Uh, not only in terms of his knowledge but also in his ability to reach out to the women farmers in particular we develop equipments keeping in consideration the ergonomical characteristics of women workers ergonomical characteristics means the equipment should be suitable to their body dimension suitable to their strength so we take care that the equipment is within their capabilities and limitations this film is a brief overview on women friendly improved farm tools for drudgery reduction developed by vigyan prasad in association with central institute of agricultural engineering hand ridger is an improved equipment used by farm women for making ridges and furrows for vegetable cultivation as well as for irrigation the seed treatment drum is used to do seed treatment for reducing damage to seeds from insects and diseases before sowing this equipment mixes the chemical uniformly and provides safety to workers as direct contact with chemicals is avoided navin dubler is used for sowing of bold seeds like maize soybean pigeon pea cotton and other crops having wider plant to plant spacing as bending is avoided the back pain is eliminated and the drudgery is reduced by about 30% as compared to traditional practice a rotary dibbler is also available The manually operated seed drill is useful for small farmers for sowing of medium and bold seeds like sorghum, pigeon pea, soybean, maize, wheat and Bengal gram. As bending posture is avoided, the drudgery of the workers is reduced. The three row rice transplanter is an equipment which places rice seedlings in three rows at a time in the puddled field without making the women farmer to bend output with this equipment is four times more as compared to traditional method of transplanting by hand in bending posture for direct sowing of pre-germinated paddy seeds in puddled field A four-row direct rice seeder is used. The unit weighs seven kilograms and can be operated comfortably by a woman worker. By using this seeder, the cost of cultivation of paddy is reduced by about twenty-five percent as compared to transplanting method. The twin wheel hoe is a pull and push type equipment used for removal of weeds and interculture in upland row crops. Using this equipment, a worker can cover 3 to 4 times more area as compared to traditional hand hoe weeding. The traditional method of weeding in wetland rice crop involves bending and pulling off weeds. Now, two equipments, namely Mandwa weeder and Kono weeder are available. Use of these equipments help to get higher work output. For harvesting of cereal crops like rice and wheat, an improved sickle can be used. It is lighter and has a serrated edge which retains sharpness for longer period. 
there is a drudgery reduction of about 15% as compared to local sickle and injuries to hand are also avoided. The pedal operated paddy thresher is operated by a woman worker with her legs using treadling mode to separate grain from plants. Output with this machine is about two times more as compared to traditional method of hitting the paddy bundles on a platform in bending posture and the drudgery is also less. The paddy winnower is used for cleaning of grains after threshing of paddy. This machine is operated in cranking mode in standing posture. Output of a worker using this equipment is high and the drudgery is less. The tubular maize sheller is used to separate maize grains from cobs. The sheller is held in left hand and the cob held in right hand is inserted into it with clockwise and anti-clockwise twist and the grains get separated. Output is 1.5 times more and the drudgery is 15% less as compared to the traditional practice of shelling with hand. The hand operated maize dehusker sheller does the dehusking and shelling operations simultaneously. Undehusked maize cobs are fed one by one into the hopper to get grains on one side while the husk and dehusk cobs fall separately out of the machine from the lower path. Output with this machine is about three to four times than the traditional method of dehusking and shelling cobs by hand. Groundnut stripper is useful for separating pods from the wines after harvesting. Stripping of pods is accomplished by drawing a handful of wines across the comb with a slight force. The structure facilitates its use by four women simultaneously. For removing kernels from groundnut pods, two types of decorticators, namely standing type and sitting type, have been developed. By use of these decorticators, there is about 60% drudgery reduction as compared to traditional method. Vegetable cutter is a simple tool to cut or pluck vegetables or flowers, costing about rupees 60. A bindi plucker is also available to pluck bindi or lady's finger and it costs about rupees 35. By using these tools, injuries to hands or fingers are avoided. Finger guards made from copper metal sheet are also available to pluck or cut vegetables and flowers and the cost is about rupees 150. Large cardamom, also known as Bari Ilaichi, is grown on slopes and hills. An improved large cardamom harvesting knife is a tool used to cut the mature spikes from the base of its attachment to the main shoot. This improved knife requires less force in cutting operation and the drudgery as well as accident chances are reduced. The cotton picking apron has been ergonomically designed to pick and place cotton collected from cotton balls in the apron bag without making too much of movement of arms. The apron is comfortable to wear and protects the operator's hands and clothes from getting damaged or spoiled. The battery operated cotton picking machine has a battery and a picking bag attached to it. During operation, when the sucking head is pointed at the full blown cotton pod, the cotton is quickly sucked and put into the bag. A cotton stock puller is a tool used for uprooting of cotton stalks. 
The cotton stalk is held in jaws of the tool and the handle is pulled downwards to uproot the stalk. Discomfort and probability of back injury is reduced by using this tool as the force required is less and the work done is in standing posture. Sugar cane stripper is a tool used for detopping of cane and stripping off leaves. It helps to reduce the drudgery involved in stripping operation and chances of injury to workers are minimized. The manually operated fruit harvester helps to harvest fruits from top of tall trees by workers standing on the ground. The worker carries the harvester to the fruit to be harvested and pulled it down. This action helps to cut the pedicle by the knife of the tool and the fruit gets collected in the nylon basket. Damage to the fruit is also avoided. The coconut climber is an equipment designed for a person to climb comfortably on a coconut tree by using legs and hands to move the climber frames gradually upwards. Anybody can climb on the tree using this equipment and can carry out coconut harvesting as well as other operations. Possibility of injury is eliminated. Traditionally, de-husking of coconut is done with the help of a long knife and the operation involves injury risk. The hand-operated coconut de-husker splits the outer layer of a coconut partially at several points, thus making de-husking by hands far easier and safe. There is about 50% reduction in drudgery as compared to traditional method. Harvesting of apples is usually done by climbing on trees or using heavy traditional ladders. There is a lot of body pain while harvesting by climbing on trees and there are possibilities of accidents due to fall. The bamboo ladder for apple harvesting is very light weighing only 12.5 kilograms. This ladder can also be used for variety of household jobs making the job of a homemaker easier. Traditionally, de-husking of arcanets is done by women workers using knife and injuries to fingers and palms are common. The rotary arcanet de-husker is an equipment developed for de-husking arcanets. A woman worker does the cranking operation and also puts arcanets in hopper one by one. Output of a worker using this equipment is 1.5 times more than the traditional method and there are no chances of injuries. Traditionally, tea leaves are plucked with bare hands and put in a basket. The tea leaves plucking kit consists of a kilter along with detachable umbrella, an apron and finger blades. The use of the kit improves the posture and enhances workers' efficiency, resulting about 60% higher output as compared to traditional plucking. The double screen crane cleaner works on simple push and pull action to separate impurities like straw, shaft and dirt from grains. Here, the weight of the seas as well as the grains is supported by the hook fixed to the ceiling. By using this equipment, the drudgery is reduced by 63% and the output is about four times as compared to traditional method. Hand-operated shaft cutter is a machine for cutting the fodder into the small pieces. The unit is provided with safety devices and a person operates it by rotating a flywheel on which the blades are mounted. Another person feeds the fodder through the feeding trough. Here, drudgery is less and injuries are avoided. A wheelbarrow is very useful to carry agricultural materials 
from one place to another. More loads can be carried out in less time and with minimal efforts using the wheelbarrow. Another device for carrying off load is a head load manager. This wearable equipment is provided with straps to fasten the frame on the body. Using this equipment, a worker can carry various materials from one place to another. A woman can carry 15 kilograms weight at a time using this device. Potato chip making work, peeling and slicing are the operations carried out by women workers. The potato peeler does the peeling operation. Potato slicer is a batch type equipment for slicing of potato for production of chips and wafers. It has four chambers for putting the potatoes and a circular blade is provided at the bottom for cutting the potatoes into slices. Using this equipment set, about 30 kilograms potatoes can be peeled and sliced by two women workers. The film serves specific purpose of improving preparedness of stakeholders to use improved tools and equipment, suitable adapt practices and as a forerunner to training and capacity building.